This is my third Loft conference. I've been to uh, the previous two. The first one I went to was in Spain and then um, the next one was in Norway. So it's great to have it come over here. It's especially after your PhD, you might not know what you want to work on because your supervisors are not there for you anymore in the way they were before. So it's great to meet new people, see what's going on in the field and yeah, be inspired with new ideas. Every area of economics depends very heavily on, on game theory at the moment. So it really started as an analysis of board games, but later on people realized that actually the same logic, the same uh, models could actually also be used to situations in professional and everyday life. So this is a conference um, uh, which really explores the foundations of how people reason before making decisions. They're trying to predict what you will do, and so your prediction of what they will do depends on their prediction of what you will do. We have people doing mathematics, people doing economics, people doing logic, people doing computer science. So they all approach, let's say, similar problems, but from their own particular background. And that's what makes this conference, I think, also very uh, special. It's a very specialized conference, so um, the topics you encounter are also often quite related to stuff you're already working on. So, yeah. That, that really brings up new ideas. And it's just great to have people from all over the world coming here and also see the announcement of the conference. It just raises the awareness that Masters University is one of the world's best research institutes. One of the purposes of having an event like this here and attracting and inviting people from several uh, disciplines is, to give, is not only to listen to talks, but also it gives the opportunity to have discussions. So we had economists that said we've never talked to logicians uh, or computer scientists before and this was extremely helpful. And then they actually they started cooperating uh, with, with uh, other individuals. It's really good for students and for the university now to see the, the, the world leading researchers in this area come to Maastricht and talk about their problems and their approaches to, uh, to these problems. First of all you make uh, people in other fields aware of, uh, of what you're doing and uh, either they see it as something new and they say oh this could be useful also in our discipline uh, or they can say hey we did this uh, 60 years ago. And I know uh, events like this lead to uh, people co collaborating? Well, I presented my paper this morning, so um, yeah, uh, mainly the first goal is that I hope to get some feedback on that paper. Uh, after some conferences you meet uh, people again and it's great to speak, for example, to Peter Wacker. He is uh, an expert in decision theory and it's not easy to get hold of him, but uh, this is one of the rare occasions. I see that there are not only people who are registered who come from outside, but there are also students uh, from Maastricht who are attending and hopefully they, they get some ideas and uh, they get to meet people and they, you know, they can create contacts that they would not have uh, dreamt about before. Well, the conference just started. I had a couple of short conversations, so, but yeah, uh, the, 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 the day is still young.